Hello, I'm Brent Sink with MRS Electronic, and today I want to show you one of our latest developments, which is telematics for the automotive and off-highway vehicle markets. As you may already know, in vehicles today, there's a vast amount of data moving around inside internal networks that are transmitted from the engine, the transmission, and other sensory devices. And there are many types of applications that can actually benefit from telematics, one of which is the agriculture industry. For example, in farming, the equipment is very sophisticated and expensive, and at the peak of harvesting, there's no room for any downtime. So whatever can be done to ensure that the downtime is avoided or at least minimized should be done to optimize the performance and the reliability of the machine. So let's go see what this looks like out in the real world. Let's take for an example this combine right behind me. So combines today are equipped with all sorts of controllers and sensors to monitor the health of the machine. And when something goes wrong, it's usually pretty obvious. So when this happens, it's usually often too late, and the next step usually involves calling the service company and have them come out to diagnose the problem. And if this sounds familiar, it's because it happens all the time. So a service technician will drive out to the field, which in some areas of the country can actually be very remote and long distances, and plugs a laptop into the combine and starts diagnosing the problem. Once the issue has been found, the technician will then drive back to the shop, pick up a replacement part, which hopefully they do have one in stock, and then drive back to the field and repair the machine. And by this time, an entire day can easily be lost. Well, what if a combine like this one right behind me could actually allow the service company to remotely diagnose the machine without the technician ever leaving the office? Think about how much time, and of course money, would be saved from driving back and forth. Or even better, what if this combine could actually tell the service company ahead of time that the component is about to fail and allow the service company to proactively schedule the maintenance and repair the machine before something even breaks? So this leads me to our solution to these problems. Here in my hand, I have a telematics device, which we have named the Fusion, as its purpose is really to fuse the vehicle with the cloud. So this means that the vehicle is connected securely to the internet and allows the OEM and the service company, and of course even the farmer, to access the machine's data from anywhere in the world. The electronics are tucked away inside this housing, which is actually rated for IP69K, which really means it's just built for rugged environments like this. So we designed and built this device out of necessity to fill a void that we felt was missing in the market today. Of course, you're welcome to use a Telemax device from another vendor if you choose. In fact, our software actually plays nicely with others and we'll even provide you with some example code to help you get started. But really, the hardware is just the starting point in telematics applications. So the software is really all, where all the magic and the cool stuff happens. Our software runs in the cloud and is built on top of a secure and highly available platform. It incorporates data analytics, machine learning, a rules engine, and a managed relational database for activity logging and statistics. Users can monitor their entire fleet by viewing overall status information along with the location. They can create custom web-based dashboards to view what's important for their application. They can set up rules and alerts and even have the vehicle send emails or text messages when an event happens. Users can also incorporate geofencing that allows them to draw a region on the map and then set up a rule to execute some custom logic when a vehicle enters or leaves this area. For example, let's switch gears for a bit and pretend that we're on an excavating job site. Whenever a machine leaves the job site, I want to send an email to the project manager that the machine has finished the job and report the engine hours, the fuel usage, and other information that may be useful for the reporting purposes. This allows your company to keep record of job activities, which can help you more accurately estimate time and materials for future projects, as well as measure your productivity. So of course, this example may or may not make sense for your application, but as you can see, the possibilities are quite endless, and you're really only limited by your imagination. So that's the software in a nutshell, and in the coming months, we're going to be rolling it out to the masses, and we'll be showing off the software and other video tutorials, so please stay tuned. Uh, if you have any questions or just want to comment on this video, please send me an email at info at mrselectronic.com and I look forward from hearing from you. Thanks for watching.